A South Haven police officer is off the job and facing some serious charges. Investigators say Harold Tad Rogers tried to get a child to send him explicit photos. WRG's Alice Coleman breaks down what led the officers to the officer's arrest and has information to help parents keep their kids safe from suspected predators. Hernando police arrested a South Haven police officer on enticement of a child to produce sexually explicit photos charges. Records show undercover officers previously identified Harold Tag Rogers as an individual who, for several days, had been involved in sexually explicit conversations. Those conversations led to Rogers soliciting explicit pictures from an undercover officer who, on numerous occasions, identified themselves as a 13-year-old female. No one in law enforcement would talk on camera about this case, but we did hear from experts on how they say children can be exploited. Some of my colleagues, they're predators, they're counselors, they're teachers. You find them in every career, anywhere they can gain access to children, they will do it. Dr. Denise Richardson is chief executive officer at For Kids Sake. They advocate against child sexual abuse and domestic minor sex trafficking in our communities and online. You know, some people will, your children need privacy. In these days and times, privacy is one thing, but being a parent who encourages privacy as well as knowing that you have a right to know what your child's uh, browsing history is. WREG contacted the Commission on Missing and Exploited Children. Captain Lynn Edwards emailed a CIS statement saying, quote, I can tell you there are no limits that predators will go to entice a child for exploitation. Now with the internet, predators can target multiple victims at the same time. Parents know who your child is in communication with. Dr. Richardson agrees. We need to vet who we leave our children with. We need to vet those our children are in contact with. If we don't know them up close and personal, I'll tell you the repercussions behind children being uh, trafficked or molested uh, is, is a lot to reel from. Alex Coleman, WREG TV News Channel 3. A reminder to keep an eye on our children and Rogers had been on the police force since August of this year. The South Haven police chief tells WREG Rogers has been suspended and his employment status will likely be discussed tomorrow night during the South Haven mayor and board of aldermen meeting.